In this module, we will briefly look at conversions from analog to digital and digital to analog as well. The first uh, type of conversion that we looked at previously was from digital to analog where a modem was involved in the conversion process and the conversion process itself was known as the modulation of signals. Now the signals uh, that travel from one end to the other end they need to conform to a set of standards so when we communicate we look for standards. The serial signals that leave the computer they travel over a serial connection that is known as the RS-232C connection uh, at the back of a computer you would see a serial port that is connected to the modem to the serial port of the modem and this incidentally is known as the modem cable and then there is modulation that takes place in the modem uh, they adhere to standards as well these standards are known as the ITU standards for example the V.90 standard uh, that applied to communication at uh, say 56 kilobits per second and so on so they need to adhere to certain standards so that is the essence of communication where we have different standards now one might think that if you are involved in digital communications you don't need to convert the signals but that is not true uh, you still have to convert the signals to uh, travel over different uh, digital lines under different uh, digital standards uh, for example, let's consider a DSL modem here that is connected to a DSL line or the DSL router better known as. Uh, this is a DSL line which incidentally is a phone line that is uh, split into the voice where you have the voice and we have the uh, DSL router connection here as well. This is the copper wire that comes from the phone company. This particular copper wire carries uh, both voice as well as the digital signals. Now this DSL line is usually connected to the uh, network interface card in the computer. So the digital signals that go along with the network along the network interface card and then on to this uh, twisted pair wire connection that is the uh, network connection. We call this connection the RJ45 connection uh, which is the network connection that connects to the uh, one of the ports in the DSL uh, router which is an RJ45 port. On the other side you have the regular telephone port which is known as the RJ11 port that connects to the DSL line. So in this case there is conversion. Uh, it is digital on this side as well and this is uh, digital as well. So there are instances or there are there is always a necessity to convert even digital signals from one format to another format to facilitate communication.